if we want to have an authentic experience of seeing if something is good for us and if it works for us, we just need to try it for ourselves. There's no other way. Hello everyone, I'm Silvia. And I'm Michal. And recently we got a question about how do we deal with the fear of being judged by other people when we tell them that we have an open relationship. And today we're gonna talk a bit about that, but we'll also go a bit deeper into trying to see how to open ourselves to new ideas and ideas that are maybe challenging our belief systems and our prejudices. Polyamory tends to be object of a lot of negative opinions and views from many people in today's society. And we believe that this is often the result of what we see on television, what we read, what we hear from other people without experimenting ourselves first. And I know that I used to be like that myself. When we first discussed polyamory, I was very uneasy about it. And somehow this concept seemed wrong to me. And then when I started digging deeper into that, I realized that this is just a preconceived idea. It's my culture, my upbringing that's showing up. It's only an illusion that I can and that I did break through. But still, I see that many people struggle with that. So how did we, first of all, overcome our own ideological blocks and started seeing polyamory as a perfectly healthy relationship model for us? It just happened naturally, it was more of a solution to meet our needs. For example, we wanted to connect with other people in a completely free and unconfined way without being ruled by pre-existing taboos. We wanted to work on our relationship with each other, we wanted to dive deeper into our challenging emotions and healing trauma together. So we just ended up suddenly fitting into a label that we had never even considered before. And it just felt right and surprisingly irrelevant, to be honest. The practical benefits of this relationship model for us were just so much stronger than any negative connotations that we brought from the past. And we realized that this really applies to anything. If we want to have an authentic experience, of seeing if something is good for us and if it works for us, we just need to try it for ourselves. There's no other way. And this applies to polyamory, but it applies to trying a new toothpaste, religion, living in a different country. You really have to try it and see if it works. Maybe it won't, and this is absolutely fine. Then you might say, no, this thing doesn't work for me. But maybe you'll find that this is exactly what you needed and it will just change your life and blow your mind. What about dealing with other people's judgments? Maybe you're afraid to tell your friends or your family that you are in an open relationship because of what they might say about it. Well, to us, the main key to solve this is exactly everything that we have been talking about so far, is being certain that we are doing whatever makes us the happiest and that we are the only ones who know what is the best for us to live our perfect lives. Once we had the self-assurance, it really became much easier because this is where, where it starts. When you know what you're doing, when you know why you're doing it, it just becomes a part of you. And it's so much easier to share and explain this to other people. For example, you might be facing the issue of explaining to your grandmother that you're a digital entrepreneur and you're making your money online on passive income products. Or it might be admitting to your friends that you're a homosexual person and it's a maybe close-minded group of friends that are not very open to that idea. Uh, whatever it is, if your explanation comes from the heart and from really knowing what you're doing and why, we believe and we found that it's becoming much easier to explain it to other people. And instead of them responding with anxiety, they respond with maybe a bit of uncertainty, but the bottom line is they see you're happy. Apart from that, when we know that our decisions are coming from this already fulfilled, joyful place, it's much more likely that we will share them with other people from a compassionate place instead of, you know, with anger. Oh, you're not accepting what I'm saying. No, I'm 
truly confident that this is my way to live my life. And it's okay that you feel upset or close to it because I'm just going to explain it to you with love. At the moment, we are living a very intentional lifestyle. Therefore, we make sure that we surround ourselves as much as possible with people that are like-minded and that support us in our decisions. Therefore, we don't have to face this fear of being judged every day, all the time, and we don't have to spend that energy. However, we are ready for it, especially doing something like Honey Boom and sharing our ideas on YouTube. But when this happens, when this judgment comes from other people and when we feel it, we just deal with it as we deal with any other challenging emotions, as impermanent and as opportunities for us to grow as human beings. So this is what we do. First, we experiment, then we apply new things to our lives and we become confident that this is really what we want to do and how we want to live our lives. And then we surround ourselves with people and environments that we feel that we thrive in. And then any challenging confrontations, if they happen, we are ready for them, but we make them more of an exception than the general rule. And it's just easier for us to grow this way, just as plants grow better in a more nutritious soil. So let us know if this video was useful to you. And if you have any further questions, feel free to just drop them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.